The Institute of Global Health Innovation's role is to improve the health of people and reduce health inequalities worldwide. Although great progress uh, is made in health care, there are still pressing issues which need urgent attention. For example, the rising prevalence of non-communicable disease, the great health inequalities that exist both in the UK and throughout the world, the environmental and resource challenges, and the economic restrictions which are permeating all corners of the globe. IGHI has been created to identify, develop and accelerate innovations with the capacity to meet this century's health challenges. The centre is a dedicated team of engineers, scientists, clinicians, designers, international and national partners and policy makers who are all focusing on the development and the diffusion of global innovation across policy and healthcare. The Institute aims to draw on the strengths of Imperial College in medicine, in engineering, science and business. By taking a multidisciplinary approach, our vision is to generate and promote application of innovative, evidence-based policy, create high-impact and patient-centered solutions to the broader spectrum of global healthcare challenges, and to reshape the future of healthcare delivery with the translation of cutting-edge clinical, technological and scientific research. IGHI currently hosts four centers of excellence, all specializing in various aspects of global health. The Centre for Health Policy's vision is to catalyse the development, uptake and diffusion of innovative, evidence-based health policy around the world. The Hamlin Centre for Medical Robotics works on the development of safe, effective and accessible imaging, sensing and robotic technologies that can shape the future of healthcare worldwide. However, the Centre of Digestive and gut health are working to develop a new and innovative surgical, medical and nutritional procedures targeting the gut to improve patient health. The Helix Centre focuses on transforming healthcare using design, making UK a global business hub for low cost and high impact innovation. Since IGHI's inception in 2010, we have established four research centres of excellence which focus on a particular aspects of global health innovation in science, technology, design and policy. We have developed exciting educational opportunities including a competitive PhD and a postdoctoral research programme, a Master's in Health Policy and a Master's Research Master's in Robotics in Surgery. We have formed international symposia, including the annual Hamlin Symposium on Medical Robotics and the Global Health Policy Summit, which in 2012 was jointly hosted with the Qatar Foundation. The summit brought together world leaders and top tiers of healthcare in industry to provide a platform for international collaboration on the most pressing global healthcare challenges. We published a number of high-impact research papers, including a Lancet Commission on Health Technologies and our Global Framework for Healthcare Innovation. We launched a distinguished policy seminar series which allowed Imperial academics to meet leading contributors in the field of global health and share their current research. We hosted an annual lecture from healthcare leaders of international standing which provided an opportunity for Imperial's academic community, health researchers across London and world-class universities and students to gain from the wealth of experience offered by those at the forefront of global health. Innovation in healthcare can come at a high price. In the developed world, it's often characterized by costly and high-tech initiatives where ideas can take a decade to deliver from concept to clinicians' hands. One of the key messages in our 2012 publication in The Lancet, Technologies for Global Health, focused on what we can learn from lower and middle income countries. According to hospital 
inventories, an estimated 40% of healthcare equipment in the developing countries is out of service, compared with less than 1% in high-income countries. The inappropriate deployment of medical technologies from wealthy countries plays a major part in this high failure rate. Instead of relying on hand-me-down technologies from wealthier countries, which can be costly, inappropriate for local conditions, and even dangerous, the authors urge a renewed effort towards developing what they call frugal technologies, cost-effective technologies, that are developed specifically to cope in the local conditions. To meet these needs, we have pioneered the Jaipur foot, a rubber prosthetic people who have lost their legs and foot below the knee. Path Uniject injection system which allows once only use of needles for injectable contraceptives and the E-Ranger which is a durable rural ambulance based around a motorbike which is a stretcher at its side of a car. If you're interested in global health there are a number of ways to get involved with the Institute. IGHI hosts frequent events, seminars and lectures on various aspects of global health innovation. We have our IGHI mobile app, which keeps updated with new news and events within the Institute while on the move. And we post frequent blogs, news articles, where we encourage comments and debate and are very active on social media.